we took the list of game modes and we cut it away, all of them, threw them all away. We said every single game mode we've ever done, let's take them off the game, off the board for a minute. The idea was to do is go through and then pull, e pull each one out and go, TDM, should we keep it? Well, let's talk about why we should keep it. TDM was a pretty easy one. I was like, yeah. okay, we'll put that back. So that's what we did though with all the game modes. We said, okay, well, this game mode. Yes, no, maybe. And tried to cut as many as we possibly could. They still can be put back into the game. It's not like they're gone because there's playlists. I can update them tomorrow and they'll be something completely different. The idea was, especially for launch anyways, is to introduce a lot of new game modes. So you've seen Cranked, you've seen Search and Rescue, you've seen Blitz. There are a few, you see them in the teased in the trailer. I think Grind is on that list. So there's a lot of new game modes. We want to really get people interested into these new game modes. And it's not the pitch meeting kind of thing. Single player works that way. A person comes up with an idea and then pitches it and then they all kind of discuss it in a pitch meeting. But for multiplayer, what happens is someone comes up with an idea and it might be, say, the idea for Search and Rescue and then creates a prototype for it. Sometimes that's super straight forward and easy, like Search and Rescue is pretty straightforward. Didn't take too long to quickly script that up, then introduce it. And the funny thing is, is we, all these modes, we end up playing in the previous game's maps. But yeah, we what we try to do is every game is keep some maps alive from the previous game to use as test maps. And someone has to actually go in and do a lot of work to make it work in the new game. But they're good, they're sort of the, the canaries, mm -hmm. you know? And what we do is we play test multiplayer pretty much from day one every night. So every night for about an hour to an hour and a half, we play multiplayer, not the whole team, but a small portion of the team. So we might get two or three games going. And then that becomes the pitch meeting in a sense. Afterwards, we have, we group up and we go discuss what we just did, discuss the play, you know. I really like the way um, Search and Rescue that you can revive, but we need a way of doing that. Like the, the, the tag idea wasn't necessarily the first thing that came up. Then they would say like, well, what if the player drops a tag and that's how you revive somebody. And like, oh, okay, well, let's try that. And so they go back to their desks, they, they ch make that change, and then tomorrow we play again, but it's got the tag dropping thing. And then more comments, and it changes and changes and changes. So the idea gets molded over time uh, until it's like, yep, this is good. It's a very organic yet overly thorough process. We cut a lot more than maybe we ship sometimes. I feel like with ghosts, we didn't bloat we cut a lot. Our fans gonna like that? Some people won't, you know? Right, and we know that. We know that there are gonna be people very upset that we cut something they liked. But we felt this needed to be its own new game. We wanted to let this game grow on its own and become what it needs to become on its own. So there was, there was a lot of that on this game especially. In single player, we try to make it make sense and we try to keep to a sort of serious tone of we're creating a movie, in a sense, a cinematic experience, a story that we want people to take seriously. In multiplayer, we do get to have a little bit more fun. So you have to rack up your next kill before the timer hits zero, or you'll explode. <laughs> Why not? For a while, on a lot of the Call of Duty games, we were a little too serious on multiplayer and we're concentrating too much on making sure everything was super competitive. And then for Modern Warfare 3, we introduced this idea of community playlists and community maps and community sort of modes. And that's where some people's ideas of, of you know, an infected mode or um, drop zone or something like that. Those kind of modes came from the idea that with community uh, modes that we have a place for the not serious, non-competitive modes. So infected is not a competitive mode but it's fun. And I think that that has been a drive for us in the last few games is let's not worry about whether or not this game is fair competitively. Let's just make it fun and let people have a good time. And, and it turned out to be extremely popular.